what's up everybody welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to answer another question so one or more uh, uh, I get this question quite a bit uh, what do I do about cell phone like cell service uh, when I travel like when I'm actually on the road um, oh actually check this out guys so you guys can see that's me recording but you guys can see my screen is all busted up um, but I use uh, iPhone 6 uh, I travel with an iPhone 6 and it's unlocked so um, the very first thing, uh, first piece of advice I'll give you, um, especially if you're coming from the U.S., is make sure that your phone is unlocked. Um, so unlocked means that your phone is not specifically connected to a carrier. Um, back when I lived in the U.S., I was with Sprint, and my phones were always connected to Sprint, meaning I couldn't go to AT&T, AT I couldn't go to Verizon, I couldn't go to T-Mobile, I was stuck with Sprint. So um, a lot of you are in that exact same boat. Uh, your phone is locked to that service provider. Um, and in the US, for whatever reason, they make it more expensive to get an unlocked phone. Excuse me. The funny thing is that pretty much everywhere else in the world, it's not even a bit, most phones are just unlocked, just the way it is. But this is a way that cell phone companies get people uh, stuck and locked in. So the very first piece of advice is get your phone unlocked before you leave. Uh, I believe T-Mobile does it now. You can pay T-Mobile, uh, I'm going to say it's like $35, $40, they'll actually do it for you. Uh, but you can get it, go on Craigslist or eBay and there's services online where you can send off your phone. I know it's from the opinion ass that not have your phone for a week or so, but trust me, having an unlocked phone abroad is great. Second thing is uh, find out if your service provider actually does the uh, abroad data. I know for a fact T-Mobile does it. Uh, I want to say it's something like $15 a month and you get unlimited data, I believe, but not calls, um, which is a really good deal. But the problem is that those don't work everywhere. Um, your data does not work everywhere. Um, sometimes it's on a slower network, so you don't get the same speeds, and it's kind of an issue. Um, so you definitely want to check with your service provider uh, if they offer that international data plan. Uh, the next thing is if you are unlocked, you're golden, you're absolutely sweet. All you have to do is get a SIM card. That's it. You get a SIM card, get it activated, popped in your phone, you're good to go. Um, and some places are easier than others. So for now, um, I'm going to speak on Europe and Southeast Asia slash Asia in general. Um, Europe is dope and Europe's even doper now because of the EU. Now, for us, Americans, the EU is great. I know some of my European friends have issues with the EU, but for us Americans, the EU slash Schengen is amazing for us. Schengen, we can travel, you know, 90 days within 180 days, anywhere that we want, no passport checks, none of that stuff. But also they have this thing called, uh, I, I don't remember, I don't think this is the official name for it, but it's Rome like you're at home. So basically what this means is that if you get a SIM card or a data package within one of the EU nations, then no matter where you go, say you get it in France and then you go to Germany, um, you still use the, it's like you're at home when you're in Germany. You're using the same data for the same price, the same package. Um, I experienced this on my last trip earlier this year to Europe. It was absolutely amazing. I got my SIM card in Germany, uh, which was crazy expensive. Um, and I traveled, uh, what, what we do, we did Poland, we did Prague, we did Budapest, we did Malta. Uh, you guys saw it, um, if you guys follow this channel. Um, and it was absolutely wonderful on all of the same uh, data. Uh, but the problem with that was, I paid 10 euro for one gigabyte. And I ended up getting three gigabytes because I figured that would be enough. So I paid 30 euro for that. Um, the, the, the sucky thing about that is, in Romania, you can get, oh man, it's going to drive me absolutely nuts and I don't notice off the top of my head, but you can get like 10 gigabytes for 10 euro. Like it's insane. So cheaper countries have cheaper data. It's just the reality of it. Um, so a place like Poland, uh, Hungary, Romania, they're going to be cheaper. So my recommendation is to go get your SIM card there and then travel where else you want to go. Especially for those who are going to be traveling for a month two months through the summer through Europe, start in a cheap country, get your data and make sure it's high, you know, get, get something that's, you know, 10, 10, 12 gigabytes and just have fun and just kind of do your thing. Um, when it comes to Asia, 
there's nothing like that in Asia, but everything's so cheap. Every, the SIM cards are dirt cheap. Five, ten bucks, max. Um, but let me speak to Thailand specifically, um, and this is something that you can employ around the world. Uh, at the airport, I wouldn't call it a scam, but they, it's a hustle a little bit uh, by the uh, cell phone companies. They created these tourist packages, these one-week, two-week tourist packages. So they'll give you one week, uh, 1.5 gigabytes of data, and it'll run you 299 baht. If you get out of the airport and you go to pretty much any mall in the city, you could get four gigabyte for the same price, give or take. Uh, if you have an unlocked phone. So definitely wait till you get out of the airport. Anything that says tourist on it is going to be overpriced for the most part. It's more than you should be spending. Um, there's no registration. You don't need like a local address or anything like that. Uh, I've heard people asking that question. If like to get a uh, cell phone plan, you need uh, a local address or anything like that. In Asia, Europe, nope. All you need is your passport. You just put your, and that's actually new. I, it used to be where most of you didn't need your passport. You just showed up um, and you just got it. But now with the terrorism on the rise and everything, you need your passport for almost everything. Um, in, in Malaysia and KL, it's, it's, it's the same. It's super cheap. So um, that's it. So yeah, when it comes, that's what I personally do for uh, cell phone uh, and data. I cannot travel without data. I just, it, it's, no, my life is on uh, my phone now, especially interacting with you guys, uh, putting stuff on Instagram, answering emails, uh, and, and, and the basic travel apps I use. Google Maps is, is my, my, my Bible now. Like Google Maps is my joint. I use Google Maps for everything. Um, not to mention other things like TripAdvisor, Hotels.com, Skyscanner. Um, I use, uh, when I'm in Europe, I use the URL app a lot. Even if you aren't on a URL pass, Get the URail app, E-U-R-A-I-L. It's absolutely wonderful for planning your trip and finding out what times trains trains leave. Um, and sometimes you can get the price of as well. So that's that. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, of course, uh, ask me below if you want to know the specific prices for any places uh, in Europe or, or Asia. I kind of, I pretty much know. So just hit me up and ask me that question. Uh, if you want to know uh, what services you possibly get your phone unlocked, hit me up uh, for that. Um, and yeah, that's it. As usual, lead the world better than you found it. I'll see you guys in the next video.